then hopefully after the year of sale or purchase, whichever side of the transaction you're on, it should be fairly easy because then you're just gonna be dealing with the property taxes and you're gonna be dealing with the mortgage, uh, which includes the mortgage interest, most of which will be reported by the financial institution, at least the mortgage interest, possibly even the property taxes, if you're paying it through them, otherwise you track the bills for the property taxes. So prepayments of next year's property taxes. So we noted, when do you deduct things for income taxes? Typically on a cash-based system, when you pay them. So you might get the bright idea of, well, hey, look, I made more money this year than I'm gonna make next year. Why don't I prepay the next five years of property tax this year, deduct it all this year when I'm in a higher tax bracket, and then next year uh, when I'm in a lower tax bracket, that'll be work out for me uh, for my taxes. But the IRS is, is gonna be skeptical of that kind of things, the manipulation. That's why the cash-based system, by the way, is not the preferred system used by corporations and we have auditors and audits and whatnot to make sure that people aren't manipulating the cutoff dates by manipulating cash flow for example because it distorts the financial statements right so same thing happens here cash basis is the easiest way to do it that's what we're on it's the easiest we don't need audits or you know like a standard audit of financial statements to figure it out it's simple to do but you can come up with schemes like this of saying, well, I'm going to manipulate when I pay the cash, manipulating the cutoff dates. And the IRS, of course, is going to try to come up with rules to stop that, right? So that's the idea. So only taxes paid in 2023. 